how to add subtitles on your video on any language that you want to with one click with the help of AI using Filmora 13. Hey guys, this is Shine from NKAcademy.com and today I'm going to reveal a secret feature that Filmora 13 has which you can leverage to produce subtitles even it goes ahead and produces the srt files for you as well with which you can even do transcription as well on different freelancing services so i'm not going to waste your or mine time let us directly jump over to my laptop and let me show you how to do the stuff so in here as you can see i have got my filmora 13 open right we just need to select this option over here called the ai text-based editing just click on this and this will open up your file folders right from where you want the clip on which you want the subtitles so let us go for it so here is the clip that i want a subtitle on it's a 37 seconds clip so let us select this click on open and boom it opens up so let's wait and in here it asks for the language in which your video was created so you can see it actually supports so many languages right your source file can be in any of these languages all of these are supported so mine is english so let it be there and let's click on ok and as you can see the conversion is in progress all of this is by the way done by ai i don't need to do any heavy lifting it's all click click and boom right so stay tuned as you can see over here this is uh, what the video looks like on this right hand side over here we have got all the stuff that has been said right it has done all the transcription and what's best about it is, is that it also finds the places where there is silence as you can see over here this actually indicates silence again if you go down over here this indicates silence right and this is highlighted on the timeline as well where you can see there is no graph of sound which actually proves that this part is silent now this is all done by ai with that being said you can remove this silence at one go as well just by hitting this delete button on your keyboard or you can actually delete all the silent parts as well at one time by hitting this delete all silent clip right so that's how you can do sound based editing and even you can remove any of these wordings from here hitting delete and that part would be removed from your video as well so it's a text based video editing as well that you can do with the help of ai that being said that's i have covered this whole topic in another video i'll link that down in the description if you want to check out that you can do that so in here we are more interested in creating subtitles now once you are happy with whatever you it's coming over here you just need to come down over here and click on export to timeline just click on that and once you do that you can see over here i have got three layers the top layer over here is the text file that is the srt the middle layer is the video and right here is the audio so now let's play this and listen to this hey guys welcome to this another tutorial so you can see here welcome to this another tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you the latest so you can see the feature filmora 13 so everything is perfect now by chance if there is something wrong there might be it, since the ai is transcribing there might be something problem with your accent or pronunciation for which the ai has interpreted it differently right there can be a case so in those cases what we can do is that we can come over to this layer double click and once we do that you will see the entire transcription actually opens up in another window for you and in here you can edit this total subtitle file right so for this we will just head our cursor to the start and in here you can see it starts with hey guys in here you can check out that if you want to make any changes say for example instead of hey guys it was uh hello everyone so you could have done this like everyone right so that's up to you so now you could go on and write everyone just for an example right and it will have this so if i hit on save now and if i play from the start let's play hey guys well you can see over here it starts with hi everyone right so in this way you can make the changes now again let's go back and since i told it hey guys so let me change it over again to guys back to guys right and in this way you can go ahead and change anything so that's pretty cool that's pretty easy to do now once you have done this there are many other things that you wish to do with your subtitles a 
you might want to change the font right so for this you just need to come over here and in here there are a ton of font say i want the font say i want a bolder font so i can go for this ultra right hey guys it looks quite good i can change the font size as well so let's make it a little bigger i can make it bold as well that's up to me i can also go ahead and change the alignment like center right or left so let it be center it looks quite good i can change the line spacing the letter spacing everything right now once this is done i am good i am happy with it i will just come over to here on this customize just click on customize and in here you can change the color right you can have a gradient fill you can have a color fill so for the colors i can change any color that i wish to just click on over here and change it to any color that you like so let us make it like this and then if we go down over here there is an effect thing as well which actually determines the word types so i can make whatever effect i wish to like this right and the changes takes place now you can go ahead and make the opacity different as well so you can see it becomes more transparent the more opaque then you can change the blurness as well so all of that is doable you can also add a outline to this you can change the thickness you can add a shadow the possibilities are quite endless then you can also go ahead and add a background to it so let us add a color fill background and let the color of the background be like this right so it's just i'm doing this randomly so you can go ahead and do this you can change the radius so that the edges appear more roundish you can have the spread so that it's more covered and in this way you can actually play around and make it look the way exactly you want to the next step that you want to do is animate this now for the animation there is in out animation and also loop in animation so i want this to come out like a typewriter so i will select the typewriter effect and i can just hit on save if i want to make individual changes that is only this hey guys will be changed or if i want the entire style to be same across all of the captions then i just need to come over here and click on apply to all now if i click on apply to all all of the subtitles will come in the same way so let's hit on save and let's play now and see whether hey guys, the changes welcome to this taken place. another tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you the latest feature that filmora 13 has which is actually adding subtitles so you can see it looks quite amazing the your old dull video now gets a brand new touch and it is quite awesome right one more thing that i want to show you over here is that you can double click again over here and if you like this if you want all your videos to be under this same category that is if you want to add branding then you can save this as preset as well just click on save as preset and give it a name say nkr academy so that whatever i do for nkr academy i want it to be like this and i will click on ok so the next time i come over here i can come over to this preset and from here i can choose custom preset and in here you can find cyan and nkr academy so cyan was one of my previous presets now if i one click that it will get applied like this you can see so it's very easy it doesn't require you to actually go ahead and do the changes every time it's one click and boom you are done so i really hope that you have enjoyed this now once all of this is done you just need to come over to this part over here export and give it a name we just need to select the folder and click on export and boom it would be exported in a few seconds so as you can see it's very fast as well now with that being said i do have got a best selling course on udemy as well with filmora and on that i have covered everything right from filmora 9 to filmora 13 so if you wish to check that out i'll leave that in the description below it's one of the highest rated and best seller courses in udemy so if you want to check out that you can feel free to go down on the description click over to my course go over there and check out for yourself it's a great learning experience that you will have with that being said as you can see the uh, file has been exported so let's open the folder and let me show you how the final output looks like so let's double click this 
hey guys welcome to this another tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you the latest feature that filmoda 13 has and you can see all the srt file has been generated so you can supply this to youtube as well and that helps in in ranking as well so again i really hope that you have found this tutorial interesting if you have please help me with a like and also share this with your friends so that they can also add subtitles to their video at one click and again if you are interested to learn more on filmora then you you can check out the description below we'll meet again pretty soon with some other videos until then please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget in keeping making money online we'll meet again pretty soon take care bye bye